I have heard some people say there's not much to do in Abo. So I want to show you a quick 12 things you should definitely experience whenever you are in or around Abo. On this channel, I've already shared many of my experiences. In this video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a compilation as well as introducing you to some other places that I have never shown you before. Hello, my name is Orekose Monye. Even though I've numbered this list, it is in no particular order and it applies to any time of the year, not just Christmas. Let's go! Number 12 on my list is this joint at Imobi Junction. It's in between Royal Courtyard Hotel and Holy Child School. Unfortunately, I couldn't catch the name when I was there. I couldn't see any signboard. Here, the fish is barbecued from scratch live there and then when i was there i had fish and i had the uh, potato chips and drinks i liked the ambience here the music was really good the food was good the service was good overall a very good experience number 11 on my list is for you to try palm wine Abo is known to have the best palm wine in the world i'm not joking no. <laughs> i know anytime i say this i people feel like i may be joking or just exaggerating i'm not anytime you are in or around that boy you should definitely try the palm wine there wherever you are in Ambor or even the entire car land you can definitely find palm wine the one i experienced properly is one joint in Ozanogogo. This joint is adjacent to their community hall in Ozanogogo. You can also have roasted meat. The owners are very nice. I had a chat with them the last time I was there. The drink is really good. They get it directly from the source. <laughs> Number 10 on my list is DDPA. DDPA is like the GRA of Abo. This is where some of the big boys, the richest and the most popular people in Abo, this is where some of them have house. DDPA is off Old Lagos Asaba Road. This area is a lot quieter than the rest of Abo. You know how <laughs> rich people areas are usually quiet. This is it. So if you've experienced some other hustle and bustles, like some of the places I'll show you later, and you want to experience a bit of quiet, you should come here, have a drive around, have a look around, have a stroll around, and take in the serenity. Number 9 on my list is the palace of His Royal Majesty, the Deng of Abo Kingdom. As some of you may know, Abo is one of the oldest kingdoms, not just in Nigeria, not just in Africa, but one of the oldest in the world. Come to this place so at least you can say you are around one of the most ancient palaces in the world. I don't think they will let you in. I've never tried to get in anyway, so I don't know. Number 8 on my list is St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, Abo. St. John the Baptist Catholic Church is on Old Lagos, Asaba Road. This is one of the oldest churches, if not the oldest, in the entire Eka land. There is a church bell, this bell rings and you hear it across most of Abo. If you are in or around Abo, you don't have to be a Christian, you don't have to be a Catholic. You can go and see this building. The same way you go to Milan in Italy and you go and see the church architecture this might not be as grand as that but this is unique in its own way number seven on my list is a place called highlights this place is a bar and restaurant and also a nightclub highlight is on old lagos asaba road this place as far as i know has the highest rooftop it's very chilled out in the day but at night it comes to life this place is very busy at night. Even though this particular place is relatively new, it has not become a big feature of our nightlife. Number 6 on my list is Imobi Market, otherwise known as Afia Obemai. This market is on Obi Ikenchuku Road. You should definitely see this place on a market day. It's busy, it's as busy as a beehive. If you want to see fresh food, direct organic food, direct from the farms, come to this place. If you want to see hustle and bustle of market women, market men, traders, people selling, people buying, come to this place on a market day and see how it village market looks like. Number 5 on my list is Pleasure Island. What I like most about this place is the environment. I like the bamboos. Oh my days. This place is very cooling. No matter how hot the sun is. And guys, let me tell you in advance. The weather in our work can be very hot. But no matter how hot it is, these bamboos actually give you a very nice shade. You should definitely experience this place. 
I like how they've worked around nature to create this unique environment where it's naturally growing bamboos. They've just, you know, worked around it to make it into a place of relaxation. Number four on my list is traffic light area, otherwise known as Mobile. It is the area around Old Lagos Asaba Road by Baleke Street and Abraka Road. This place is the heart of Abo. If Abo was a European city, this place would be called the city center. Here you can see the hustle and bustle of Abo on full show and see how Abo is a real melting pot of so many different tribes and people. There is a market here called Garage. It is open every day and you can get about everything you need here. It gets really, really, really juicy. Yeah. This place is the classic and major feature of Arbor Day and Nightlife. I just go to this place sometimes to take in the hustle and bustle of Arbor. Number three on my list is Rain. They recently changed their name from New Mandarin. Is now called Rain. Rain Restaurant Bakery Danake. This place is on Old Lagos Asaba Road. I just sent to the highlights I talked to you about earlier on. This place is the biggest fast food restaurant in Abo and in Kaland. So obviously you can get a lot of fast food here and drinks. You can also get normal food, not just fast food. My favorite here is chicken pie. And they also have games. They also have an arcade upstairs. Number two on my list is Obubu Restaurant. This is located at Imobi Junction. I go to this place for authentic traditional abo soups and pounded yellow yam. On top of your regular types of meats, they also serve bush meats, what is otherwise known as exotic meats, as well as a large variety of fish. I mean, if one wants to taste the real abo, this is the place. They are open early in the mornings and serve until midday or so. I would personally go here between 9 and 11 a.m. Number one on my list is Fountainhead Resort. This place is in Oweke, off Oweke Road. I like this place for many reasons. The friendly staff, especially at the restaurant. Yeah. The food variety, the African paintings, the swimming pool, the gym many things i would definitely visit this place again and again so those are the 12 things i would do when in abo delta state nigeria west africa you can no longer say there's nothing to do this list is in no way exhaustive i've just decided to give you 12 you know 12 is a good number otherwise known as one dozen <laughs> whenever you are in abo Feel free to be a tourist, plan in some of these activities, enjoy the culture and everything Abo has to offer. Until next time, take care of yourself. Bye.